Dulled Steel Cold Forge is a side quest you start in Vernworth. After you complete Seat of the Sovereign's main quest, you can talk to a soldier on the steps in the outside area of the castle. Speak with Roman and follow him to a more secluded place to talk. Roman gives you a sword and it's up to you to find someone to repair it, but it's not marked on your map. You can ask the blacksmith in Burnworth for help, or you can simply skip this stage and head straight for the town of Bakbetal. When you reach Bakbatal, you can head to Brocker's smithy and speak with Brocker in the back room, then hand him the sword. Brocker won't do it currently, so head back out of the room and this will automatically make you speak with Sarah. Beg pardon, sir. But you'll have to forgive him. He's been in the... He's all... Enough, cheek, you... Of course you can. Psst. Hang about, eh? When he's gone. Wait for Brocker to leave the building and then you can speak with Sarah again to continue the quest. Sarah needs more fuel for the forge and you have a new cave location marked on your map called Digger's Ruin and your objective is to go there and collect a bunch of glimmer coal. All you have to do is wander around the cave and pick up all of the coal that is shiny. Now when you're finishing the quest you can give her up to 25 glimmer coals, there's 30 to be found in the cave. But you only need 15 of them to progress the quest. I'm not sure if there's any advantages to giving her all 25, but I only gave her 15. But I can't show you this exactly in the video because my recording file is corrupted for some reason and so I can't show you it. And of course there's no reloads in the game so I can't go back and do it again to just record it. But I handed over the 15 Glimmer Coal and she will ask you if you would like someone to help forge the weapon and you can agree to have her help you. Then you sleep for two days and return and this is where I'm at in the video. So the only step I skipped was handing over the glimmer coal and accepting her help. She will then tell you that she had had no luck in fixing it if you slept for two days and then you must sleep for another two days and make your way back and this time she will have disappeared. The world's changing. Not you shan't hear me complain about an... You're the one who brought that regalia sword here in the first place, I. I want a word. It's that fool apprentice of mine. Lest Tell I me. ring my hammer against that hollow shell you call a skull! She has gone to a volcanic cave to try and fix the blade, and your next step is to make the long and perilous journey all the way to that location, and it will take quite a while to get there. Once inside, make your way through and make sure to kill all of the enemies inside because you're going to have to make a quick exit through the cave. Once you reach her at the inside forge, she will have a glowing hammer and she asks you to help her get out of the cave to the anvil. And you have to do it quickly or else the hammer will cool down too much and you'll have to repeat the whole thing all over again. So make sure you've cleared out all the enemies and you can just run back outside of the cave and you'll be able to do it no problem. Welcome to take whatever you like from my patch, Master. I'd gladly see you provide I'd find a good use. Teeth are looking good. The hammer's lost near half its heat. We've made it out at last. 
If done correctly, then Seira will return to Bakbatal, and you will have to make your way all the way back to Bakbatal. And once there, you can speak with Seira, and you can get your finished weapon, which you can give back to Roman. So head all the way back to Vanworth Castle to finish the quest and get 36,000 gold. Guys, that's it for this quest. Like and subscribe for more Dragon's Dogma 2 videos, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye. I can imagine no worthier symbol of a sovereign's majesty. I await the day it shall adorn your noble hip with bated breath.